Right, I'm now going to show you just a quick comparison so you can see the difference between when the oil's been applied and then when it's been toned down and removed by a brush or other, other means, other implement. So that's one wing there. You can see it's laid on quite, quite quickly, not very attractive and it's not how it's going to be on the finished model. Same with the tailpiece as well. Way too sloppy and over defined. The other side, they can see where we've started to tone it down. So much subtler and in fitting with the overall scheme of the aircraft. So bear in mind there's going to be some more varnish on this and it may even be toned down some more as well. You can see on the tail on that side as well that's much more toned down. So there we have it. Panel line washes. You can see there on that on that overhead that wing fuel tank how it's been toned down on there to give slightly more realism. Not too shiny. Shiny but not too shiny. So for these panel lines, take your dark brown and black oil paint wash. That's about three parts dark umber to one part black. You don't want much black at all. It's mainly got to be brown. Just get a little bit of that on your brush. Right, where your panel lines are, you can actually use two hands to, if you're a bit unstable, just to mark out where they are roughly like that like so then wipe your brush and then just basically swift strokes feather it as if you're feathering it in you really don't want them to be too defined the panel lines especially with this all you really don't want it to be too defined you've got to tone it right down so you get a little bit of depth and shadow in the parts you're painting. So there we go. Just take it all off. Don't forget, it does take a while to dry the oil. Not too long when it's very thin. When you've got very thin washes like this, it will actually dry fairly quickly for oil paint, but it will still smear and smudge. So you've always got a fair bit of time to remove any unwanted shadows or smears. If you've got any smears, anything you don't like really you can just remove it with a a bud or I actually prefer removing paint with another paintbrush because then you can move the paint around and you can just remove it I think it's sometimes uh, a lot more preferable to the cotton buds but I mean they're useful as well of course we very useful for other getting into other places like in these behind areas just from quickly moving some paint off anyway so that's what we're doing that's where we are now so we're just basically feathering it all off feathering it down and the same with us I mean it's quite thick on here that's going to be toned down a lot on here really you don't want the, pa the panel lines like I say they mustn't be outstanding they've got to be just melting into the aircraft really and I'm only a novice at this myself so <laughs> take heart and just keep practicing because that's what I'm doing now I'm just practicing Okay, well thanks for watching folks. Happy modelling.